Fuel dumping is a procedure carried out by airline pilots during emergency situations when an aircraft needs to return to the airport quickly after takeoff or within a short duration. Its purpose is to ensure that the aircraft reaches a landing weight that is lower than its takeoff weight. Aircraft fuel is typically stored in the wings, and during fuel dumping, it is expelled through outlets located on the wings, usually at an altitude of 6,000 feet or higher above the ground level. The primary reason for fuel dumping is to comply with the maximum landing weight requirements of the aircraft. During emergencies that necessitate an immediate return to the airport after takeoff, fuel must be dumped to reduce the aircraft's weight. Before a flight, the operational department plans and loads the aircraft with aviation turbine fuel, ATF, based on the flight route and expected duration. This is done to ensure that upon the aircraft's arrival, its weight aligns with the manufacturer's landing weight requirements, thereby enabling a safe landing. There are two methods commonly used for fuel dumping. 1. Pumping fuel outside of wings, pilots seek permission from air traffic control to dump fuel from the aircraft, typically at an altitude of at least 6,000 feet above the ground level. The fuel is expelled from the aircraft through designated outlets. 2. Dump and burn. This process is specific to fighter aircraft and not typically employed by commercial aircraft. In this method, the fuel is burned using the jet's afterburner, rather than being dispersed into the air. Fuel dumping can be an expensive process. ATF is one of the most costly materials used by aircraft and can account for approximately 50 to 60 percent of operating costs. Therefore, the decision to dump fuel is a challenging one for airlines, as it can incur significant expenses.